So we're here with Professor Alexander Dingley. Can you tell us the institution that you represent and your interest of being at the summit today? I represent the University of Malta. Um, I'm also one of the speakers. I'll be talking in one of the panels. Um, I'm also a member of the Malta.ai task force, which government set up last October. And at the moment, we're focusing, especially my working group, which I lead, on work and education. Um, can you tell us a bit about the current um, regulatory framework um, for the AI industry in Malta? Okay, so at the moment, we have widespread consultation to try to come up with the Malta.ai strategy. Um, we're meeting a lot of unions in our case because, of course, we need to, to get their feedback about what they think about the, the labor market with regards to AI. We're, all, we're also looking at educators because we are aware that we have to train a lot of people in the coming years. And that will, of course, be a challenge. We're already there because we have a very strong AI department at the University of Malta. It was set up close to 30 years ago, so we have quite a lot of experience. But, of course, now it's the time to spread it to even other faculties and other entities out outside of university. So that is practically our mission. We, we need to evangelize more about AI and get people involved about what it entails and how they can benefit from it. Okay, so you've mentioned training and education being one of the main challenges, but um, what else can you um, pinpoint as, as being a bit of a challenge for the AI industry right now? Well, I think the, ma the main challenge is there's a lot of um, misconceptions and misinformation. You know, a lot of people heard about AI, but in reality, very few really know what it entails. There's also some companies, unfortunately, there's been some statistics which show that even AI startups who, who claim to use AI, most of them, about 60%, do not actually use any AI. So we have to be careful about these things as well. So I think one of our role is there to guide these companies, these startups, and get them in the, in the right direction so that they can adopt AI for, for, for fruition. Okay, so how can you... Uh, how can the um, legislative environment in Malta sort of adapt to these um, challenges being faced by startups and early stage companies? Well, I think Malta has a very dynamic legislation. Of course, in this case, we have to be very careful. We have to be careful what to legislate because AI is, is, is such a dynamic environment that you have to be careful not to stifle AI then if you legislate it too much. So, of course, we will be looking only at elements where there is high risk, especially when it comes to the lives of people um, and also to, to finance, financial or monetary um, elements. So, in that case, most probably, for example, in self-driving cars, there has to be some legislation. But for the other elements, most probably there won't be. Um, the task force is also looking at pos the possibility of creating sandboxes, whereby these high-risk elements are placed into these sandboxes where we can take care of them and obviously guide them and monitor them as much as, as, as they need to. And lastly, what do you think of the summit so far? Are you enjoying it? Yes, we're enjoying it a lot. There's a lot of interesting speakers and I look forward to all the other sessions as well. Great. Thank you very much.